Alrighty. So, I wanted to start off with a couple of questions first. By a show of hands, how many of us are hermits? That's what I thought. I didn't think so. So, most of us at some point have either had or are looking for or have a job currently, right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Alrighty. Well, with that, I just have one more question. How many of you have freaked out at least once about an interview? Yeah. What I, that's what I thought. Well, I've got four easy things to keep in mind when you're going through the interviewing process, and hopefully that'll help you survive the interview. First, I want to talk about dress and attire, and I need a volunteer. Come on up. Don't dress like this. <laughs> You don't need the loud shirt, don't wear khaki shorts, and don't ever wear socks and sandals. Don't wear that ever, ever, ever. <laughs> you can go sit back now. Don't bite my clothes. So, I've got a male and a female version of what you should wear to an interview. For the males, I've got, you know, the khaki pants, you can wear black slacks, wear a, wear a belt. Nice button-up shirt, something kind of nice. And you can wear a tie, you don't necessarily have to. And please shave and make sure you look nice. How would you go see your grandmother? I mean, do you want to look homeless? For my ladies, and I'm going to get on to you a little bit, when you go to an interview, you don't need to show off all of your assets that God gave you. Don't do it. It's not going to get you the job. You know, I've got a dress here. Very nice dress. You know, it's conservative to a point. Um, if it's a little bit low cut, you can always wear camisole underneath. But stay conservative, stay nice. Second thing I want to talk about is the meet and greet. And I need another volunteer. <laughs> Last name? Jessica. All right. Well, I'm going to greet you. You're going to be my interviewing manager. Hello, Miss Gaskin. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Dina Bottomley. I look forward to this interview. It's that easy. Be confident and smile. We all have pretty smiles, right? Smile? <laughs> we all have great smiles. Be confident. Use it. It will do great things for you. Third thing I want to talk about is speaking positively. If you don't stay positive and confident, then you're not going to portray that in your work life. So even if the answer to the question isn't a positive one, or you don't even know the answer, say the manager asks, well, have you ever run a cash register before? You could say, if you've never have, I haven't, but I do know basic math very well. I can add in my head. And I'm very tech savvy, so I don't think I'll have any problems learning it at all. It's much better than, no, I haven't done it before. I don't, I don't know. I mean, look at the difference. Stay confident. And the last one is the one we usually forget about. How we leave. When we're walking out of this interview. Because remember, you're still under scrutiny until you're in your car and gone. So, leave the same way you came in. Leave confident. Leave happy. Leave understanding that while you may not have gotten the job yet, you're a very good potential worker. You know, always be considerate. If the, la if the, interview e if the interviewer is a lady, hold the door open. Be nice. Be courteous. Just don't make a show of it. Nobody wants to show off. You know, so hopefully this has helped each and every one of you understand the interviewing process a little bit better. And it's my hope that by keeping in mind to dress for success, staying positive, properly meet and greet, and keeping in mind that on your way out it's not quite over, 
then hopefully you will survive the interviewing process. If you don't get the job, always keep in mind, God is going to provide the right job at the right time, with the right amount of money, and he's gonna, always going to take care of you. So thank you very much. Thank you.